Hey everyone, uh, we are coming to you live from the Sling Media Labs and wanted to show you a quick demo today of Apple TV. As you can see, we have an Apple TV here in the Sling Media Labs connected to our TV. Navigating, showing some shows, playing some music. Why are we doing this? Well, what we wanted to show you was how you can control your Apple TV using a sling box. All right, hey, so we're back again. Uh, actually, this time what we want to show is the Slingbox Pro controlling the Apple TV via a Motorola Q. Um, so we're going to start up the um, Sling Player mobile software. And the way you connect to the Apple TV is no different than any other audio or video source that a Slingbox connects to. Um, it obviously has a, uh, you know, the Slingbox Pro is being connected to uh, the Apple TV via a component connection, which we'll show you in a second. But here we are uh, starting up our um, session, and you can see right away that the Apple TV interface comes up on board. Um, a lot of the controls are built into our five-way navigation, so you can watch as the uh, different, uh, uh, different functions of up and down and the middle uh, select button can control it. Um, you can also actually really easily build in support for, for controlling the, the Apple TV via your favorites button. The setup key, which is on the far left, is actually the menu key. Uh, you have play select, uh, the up, down, left, right cursors, and then also obviously volume control. So if we're using the five way, uh, excuse me, the favorites, you can select uh, the show um, and then make the favorites go away and we'll resume playing because when we last left off on this, this show um, it was not finished yet. So now we're streaming uh, the One Shiny Moment uh, recap of the NC2A basketball tournament straight from the Apple TV on our Motorola Q using the Motorola Q's 3G EVDO data connection. So we showed you before how a Windows Mobile phone can control the Apple TV. Now we're going to show you what the client looks like running on the, the, uh, a laptop or a desktop computer running either Windows or the Mac OS. Um, you can see obviously that Sling Player software is connected to the Apple TV and you have the familiar Apple TV remote. So we've actually provided a customized photorealistic remote control that acts the same way and basically using the controls on the remote you can actually connect to uh, uh, control the Apple TV box. You can you know, watch different shows, play music, what have you. So if you have a, um, you know, one main PC at home or, or Mac at home that's always connected to the Apple TV, always serving up new content, um, that's always synchronizing, and then maybe you have a laptop that uh, doesn't have as much of that great content stored on it via the iTunes store, uh, this is a very, very great way to completely control uh, that content that is there. How are we doing all this? Well, we wanted just to show you real fast how the Slingbox Pro is actually connected to the Apple TV. You'll notice on the Apple TV there's an IR blaster which is actually connected to the back of the Slingbox Pro. And you have an HD connect cable which has a component input and output. The component output from the Apple TV goes into the component input on the HD connect cable and then the component component output on the HD connect cable actually connects to your TV which allows you now to then broadcast the Apple TV up onto the big screen. So now we're going to go around back and give you a closer look. So like any Slingbox you have a set of uh, inputs and outputs for audio and video and you can see this Slingbox has an HD connect cable with component input and output. You have uh, an Ethernet cable and also the IR blaster and the power, power line and over here you actually have the HD connect cable which has the outputs and the inputs that then connect over here to the Apple TV. So basically the Apple TV is connected is is controlled by the Slingbox the same way any other audio video device can be controlled.